November the 8th, 2013 marked one of the most devastating events to hit the Philippines. A disaster so terrifying that left a trail of death and suffering in its wake. And the city changed forever. Of all the flood uh, areas that I've ever witnessed since uh, Sendong, Bondo, and Pablo, and other places, I think mean, this is quite a calamity. The city looks uh, badly damaged. Um, it's uh, clearly much worse than uh, I had thought before I came here. Neighborhoods were demolished and left unrecognizable. Families were separated and forced to ride out the typhoon on their own. Water rose dangerously high and some were caught in the current. I just saw uh, so devastated to see how tremendous was the damage to my neighborhood. Moments after the storm made landfall, a local man was placed in a desperate situation to save his family. So, my hanging, your tikus of gun and hanging and dope pad and my atop there. Pilalang kasikans, pulbun dagat dia, lapas anan building nga dia. Kung awa na, patay na tatanan. Tapusin stungtong po anang estrada. Kaya ang mga bata, ipasukod naman na mo kayo itong paghangin lagi. Kaya ang mga si, nagtuyok-tuyok naman dia sa balay. Kaya alimpos man. The tide came rushing in to the coastal village. Time was running out. The situation was too much for one man to handle. No, to ang pagkuan sa kaku sa atupan ng estrada kaya ko abrihan kay di man lagi ka mo mga blian dito sa sud. Ayo gipopok wa magir mabuak. Ang tumbling ang kuan ng estrada mo largo ng ato. Wow, gilang wing ato. Tus kay wala may naglihok. Nita ko balik ko dere kay katigaman man kay halublak din eh. Ah, huwag po ako ang pintana. Ito nga, ang usa, na ako nga nagkanaanap pa mga kamot. Huwag ako gitali, magtuwad, huwag tumbahan. Ang awa ng uban ng duha, huwag ako di pambumbahan. Huwag ako gitali, huwag ako gitali. Huwag ako gitali mong anak yan. Tuluan sa kaya ito. Typhoon Haiyan's landfall destroyed not only properties, but lives as well. Yolanda village was one of the worst affected areas. Four cargo ships smashed the coastside village without warning. Some say bodies are still trapped beneath them. Surviving individuals are still traumatized by how much they lost in the storm. Perli don sa mga survivor han super typhoon yun landa nga tiko lagi ap ma magzap an tanan yun natabuha mo nini dingin ng mo ng mo lugar labi na nga nawala yun ako mama kung ang kabuktoan Typhoons are a common occurrence in the Philippines, but Typhoon Yolanda was far from ordinary. The citizens of Tacloban underestimated the oncoming storm.
Clinics and medical facilities were no exception to Typhoon Haiyan's fury. Bigla manggod ang usog ka ayong hangin, murag mauyog ang among clinic. Ngayon ang ground, murag igishake tungod sa kakusog sa hangin. Joy and her clinic was one of the worst to be hit. Floodwaters submerged the clinic. Black and murky water smashed in and trapped Joy inside. Makita agib na mo nga pati ka itum niya, kalit bigla ko suga yung tubig nga ni sulod sa amo ang clinic. Dala na mo tanan dili sa balikod. Dili mi naka akong husband. Kutub sa siling. Joy survived, but the events of that day will haunt her forever. The loss of electricity and diminishing supplies worsen the city's conditions. And with no sign of help, the city fell into chaos. And my wife and I saw lots of dead bodies just littered along the highway from here in Apito up to San Jose. We could not have any communication at all. So there was this scarcity of food and people would, were forced, some of the people were forced to loot. And the looting was rampant that uh, the government was uh, totally, or there was total breakdown of the government to control the looting. After the storm had passed came the undeniable grief and loss of Tacloban's citizens. The situation is at its darkest. Many lost their lives and loved ones. The worst affected of all are the children, one of which is Caesar, who lost his parents and siblings to the storm. Caesar's family was one of many caught by Typhoon Haiyan. Unprepared for the harsh wind and rising water. Unfortunately, not everyone was lucky enough to survive. In just one day, Caesar lost those closest to him. Thank <laughs> Caesar was saved and brought to the evacuation centre along with other survivors. The typhoon destroyed Tacloban. Fallen trees and debris were scattered along the streets and worst of all, bodies began to pile up. Caesar's family could not be found. Unknown to Caesar, his family had been swept away by the storm. Fortunately, his grandmother had survived the ordeal and found him. Paganto na mo, iskulahan, nakanto man ini ang iya mga iya ng mga antiha. Hari sa dito kami ng bakwit. Amoy to nga paganto ko. Kayo na man ini nakakanto ha, risal ginkuha man ani ra iya ang kulang usa. Paganto ko nakanto na ini risal. Pagkita akon Kita wakak gayu nak nasinya aku, mama adik didi, nadi tu ngaya nari salna.
After the storm passed and the waters receded, there was a bitter realization. The devastation caused by Typhoon Haiyan had left many scarred and homeless. Casualties had risen to thousands and over three million families were affected. In Palo Tacloban, large holes were quickly dug to dispose of the rotting bodies piling up on the streets. Unfortunately, the mass grave could not be completed fast enough due to the continuous rainfall. Instead, bodies had to be layered on top of one another. Among estimate din he sa mga patay sobra 700 pero ang uban dili siya identified. Ang na-identified nato is 435. So kani siya mo na last nga nga hole nga gi-cover. Nya nay mga ginagmay nga mga kuan nakuha kuha tag individual na lamo ni nga gilubong-lubong sila nagusa-usa. So kani mga na-recover na ni mga bones including ni siya diri. After five days, the first help arrived. US soldiers brought fresh supplies and medical care into the city. Soon after, various relief organizations from all over the world arrived in Tacloban City, providing much needed relief and support. Well, our goal is to support the medical system here uh, throughout the entire affected area, particularly in Tacloban. So what Direct Relief does is receive uh, medical material donations from uh, large companies like Pfizer, Abbott, Baxter, what have you, and make sure that people get them on the ground that are the most in need so that they can put them to use um, in the recovery of the health system here. It took months, but with the efforts of many kind people, the victims of Typhoon Haiyan are finally catching a glimpse of hope on the horizon. Ang um, families dito na nakatira is 528 families composed ng 2,358 individuals. So, ito yung pinakamalaking bunkhouse sa Tacloban. Araw-araw, uh, marami po pupunta dito mga organizations, na mga NGO, Friday, the government na tumutulong sa wash areas, sa mga sa relief, sa feeding, sa mga spiritual. There is still a long way to go, but many are optimistic for the future. Well, I think One World Institute is here to just uh, find out from the mayor and the government officials uh, and uh, medical professionals, as well as the people that have been devastated here, what they really need in order to rebuild their lives. And I think not only do they need shelter, they need livelihood, they need a way to earn a living so they can send their children to school with a roof over their heads and food on the table. United, the people of Tacloban stand not as victims, but as victors. Just that, um, you know, the uh, international community and to the degree that we're uh, a part of it is, has been 
you know, honored to uh, help in this situation. It's it's uh, something where uh, it's a it's a unprecedented uh, disaster for the Philippines, um, and we will continue to help as long as our help is needed. sa mga disaster time dinita maghuna ho na og selfishness sa atong kaugalingon nga para lang sa atong kaugalingon kun dili magtinabang ita padayon ta ang muhatag sa atong serbisyo diretso sa atong mga tawo ug dili ta magkuan og selfishness sa atong kasing-kasing sa pagtabang Hello I'm Dr. Tom Stern, Chairman of One World Institute. Please join us later for part two of our documentary, which shows how these survivors were reborn. Uh, I want to uh, thank all of you uh, for your generous donations, and see you later.